Oh, so you want to know how to calculate macros if you're a skinny guy or a hard gainer and you're wanting to bulk? Well, in this video, I'll show you step by step exactly how to do it. Yo, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness, just a fellow hard gainer here. Recently went from 129 pounds to 160 pounds. Learned a lot along the way. And here on this channel, I give you tips and tools that you need to make the gains and ultimately crush the scale and your fitness goals. If this sounds like something that might interest you, make sure you consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell next to it. That way you don't miss out on any important tips. But make sure you stick around until the end of the video. I'm gonna give the number one thing that hard gainers forget to add to their diet when calculating their macros. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna break this down into four simple steps plus the power tip at the end of the video, all right? And the very first step is really simple. You need to figure out what your caloric needs are. So I made a video about this. I'll link it up in the cards up here. You can go back and watch that before you watch this video and then come back to this video and we'll get to step number two. So step number two is gonna be fats. This number is based off of a percentage a percentage of your caloric needs. That's why you need to know what uh, your caloric needs are per day, what we talked about in step number one, right? A quick power tip besides the one that I'll give you at the end of the video, try to lean towards 30% of your caloric needs coming from fats, and that's for a specific reason. Typically as hard gainers, we have a really low appetite, and especially for me, man, I like it's super hard for me to get all my calories in per day. Like I really have to focus on eating every couple of hours, getting my meals in, making sure I'm meal prepped, all that good stuff. It's so hard for me, so I know it's probably hard for you too. And so the reason I suggest 30% of your caloric needs coming from fat sources is because fats hold over two times as much of the caloric value as carbs and proteins. For every one gram of fat that you take, there's nine calories. For every one gram of protein and carbs, there's four calories, right? If you have a little bit of a higher fat percentage included in your caloric needs, then that'll help you to kind of get more calories throughout the day. So what you do is you take 0.3 multiplied by whatever your caloric needs are. So for me, I'm starting out at 3,200 calories per day. I'll take 0.3 multiplied by 3,200 Whatever that number is, divide that number by nine. So what I did, I took 3,200 and I multiplied it by 0.3. That gave me 960. And then what you're gonna do, take 900, well, don't take 960. I'm gonna take 960. Whatever number you got, divide that number by nine. That, that number gave me 106.6 grams of fats. That's how many fats I'm gonna need per day. And after you got that done, we can go ahead and go to step number three. All right guys, so step number three, we're gonna go ahead and go with protein. If you've already watched my video talking about how much protein we need per day, uh, then you already know we need one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, I weigh 160. That means I'm gonna go at 160 grams of protein. Make sure you remember uh, that number that you got from step number two, when you subtracted your fat calories from your total number of calories per day. So for mine, it was 3,200 minus 960. Then that number gave me 2,240. That's the magic number that you need for step number three. So remember that number in your mind, whatever that number is for you. Now what you wanna do is take, that, take the grams of protein per day that you need and multiply that number by four, right? Whatever that number is, you wanna subtract that number from that magic number that you got from step number two. Mine was 640. So I had 160 grams of protein per day. I multiply that by four and I got 640. So I took 640 and I subtracted that from 2,240, 2240. That was my number that I got from step number two. So let's go over this one more time really quick. Whatever number you got from step number two, when you subtracted your caloric needs per day, subtract it from your fat calories per day. Take that number and subtract that number from the number that you got when you multiply your grams of protein per day by four. So mine was, not, was 640. I took that 640, subtracted that from 2,240. So the last step, step number four, is figuring out your carbs. The very last thing that we did 
was we took the caloric number that we got from proteins and we subtracted that from the caloric number that we got from fats, right? And that left us with the number. My number was 1600. You take that number and you divide that number by four. So my number was 400 on the diet, 400 grams of carbs. And so what's the power tip that I've been talking about the whole video? The big power tip, the number one thing that most people forget to include when they're dieting is fiber. Yes, fiber. Fiber is super important for people who want to pack on muscle because, especially for us hard gainers, because we're taking in so much additional food than what our body normally takes in, so it needs help getting rid of it. Fiber is really good for you, really healthy for you, really keeps you regular too, not to give too much information, but it really keeps you regular. The number that you want to hit is at least 30 grams of fiber per day. Try to include that when you're trying to hit your macros, all right? 30, that's not 30, 30. 30 grams of fiber per day at a minimum. Try to hit that. All right, guys, question of the day. What's your go-to method for making sure you hit your macros every single day consistently? Make sure you comment down below. Let everybody know. Remember, some of the best tips and questions come from the Hard Gainer Fitness community. So go ahead and spam up the comment section. That's the end of today's video. I'll be back next week with more tips and tricks. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you for subscribing. As always, I'm Jalan with Hard Gainer Fitness, where we're all about helping you put on the gains, crush the scale, and ultimately your fitness goals as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. You already know what time it is. It's time to make them gains. Let's get it.